So we know some birds, they do travel south this time of year, but there are a lot of tiny winter warriors that stick around. Adam Bachman from Bachman's is here to share a couple tips on drawing mm -hmm. the beautiful birds to your backyard, encouraging them to come back. Both Heather and I uh, have been a good question reporters here at the station. <laughs> okay. Heather now, me years ago. And every winter, without fail, mm -hmm. yeah. people are curious about certain birds that are still hanging around. Why are the robins still here? But like <laughs> not, yeah. not all of the yeah. birds go away. Go away. Some are very the, hardy, Minnesotans. Some of them hunker down and you don't quite see them. Right. Um, you know, what I'm going to talk about here is how to attract those birds that are still kind the of ones out who are still hanging active, out. Right? All right. And how do, are you? Are we helping them by doing this? Of course. Okay. Yeah. This is this is how they get a lot of their food from right. us. Absolutely. I mean, it boils down to food, water, and shelter, just like mm -hmm. us. And so, yeah. in the winter time, obviously, there aren't as many food sources for the birds. So, um, seeds are the most popular food source for birds. Um, what I like to do and my recommendation is if you're going with a mix, go with a high quality mix. Mm. The less expensive kind of cheap mixes have a lot of what they call filler, right. millet and things like right. that, which really ends up being kind of a messy. Yeah. The birds will actually That's pick it out. That's the stuff that when you see the stuff all over the place, the birds are just Spitting flinging it. They're out. flinging it. And what they're going for is kind of this high protein, high energy stuff. So I'd recommend going kind of straight safflower um, or straight sunflower. The sunflower uh, are the highest protein seed. The safflower will attract a lot of birds, and squirrels don't like it. Are there different feeds for different birds, or are you really just attracting everybody? You're really attracting everybody. Once you get into this larger, sort of on this far side over here, there's a fruit and nut mix. So there's larger nuts in there for things like jays, uh, blue jays, gray jays, things like that, that um, have that larger mouth and mm -hmm. pocket space. Good. These are adorable, these little birdhouses so over here. So those are great. They're very popular, a great gift item too. But what they are are just um, sort of seed packed together to create uh, these different shapes. And in this case, these wonderful looking bird houses. So then the birds eat the house, They just eat the seed, yeah. yep, and it will kind of fall mm. apart. It will attract other wildlife as well. Suet? Yes. Suet is great, high energy. So in the winter, that's really what they're looking for. Birds expend a lot of energy just trying to stay warm. So suet is a great thing to supply for them. There's different types of suet and feeders. Basically, you can put this in here. Exactly, okay. yep. And that's this easy. suet feeder yep. that you have on that bottom, that's called a tail prop. So it allows some larger birds, birds that can't just perch Okay. on small things to feed on there. Another great item that I really like uh, are mealworms. Hmm. Uh, lots of birds will be attracted to these and the squirrels aren't after them at all. And this is just stuck in a sock right That's here? That's just Let's stuck in a sock. You can use different here. types of see the mealworms mixed there bird there. feeders. Yeah. yeah, so there's mealworms here too and you can right. um, just refill those. Delicious. Okay. The single most important thing you can do for <laughs> birds, delicious. The single most important thing you can do is provide water. Yeah. Um, well, so if you have a bird yeah. bath using some sort of heating element, if you don't have a bird bath or you do, uh, just putting out a dish of warm water in the morning, uh, that's really going to get birds active. And then of course shelter. Um, there are bird houses. There's also nesting material that you can put out and the birds will come and use that too. What is this thing? So this is a tray feeder, another type of bird feeder. Um, this if you don't have any squirrel protection or if you want to maybe just use use safflower. Um, this hangs out and you'll get tons and tons of birds. My in-laws who live a little bit further out west have this and they have birds amazing birds coming to this, yes. Yeah. Oh, and then cool. if the squirrel jumps on it, they fall, which is great. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's just leap onto the squirrels. <laughs> if the squirrel you're trying to humor. attract birds, like it drives you nuts, the squirrels will come and eat that. The seed. squirrels will come, and that's another reason why these mealworms are great. Yeah. They won't they go after like those. They don't like the mealworms. I get uh, it. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Heather's the same. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Won't eat, a, won't eat a mealworm. Well, not. No I haven't gone there yet. No, You've never tried a mealworm? No. Yeah, good, good protein. <laughs> They're fine. Uh, all this available at Bachman's. That's course. correct. So yes. adventurous you are. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to eat it right now. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. Yeah, Thanks, thank Adam. You. The Twins' new slug.